The must knows when it comes to insurance when buying a new home. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb and welcome to the channel. To learn more about real estate, then don't forget to click the subscribe and like button below. And if you want to talk real estate mano y mano, then find my information in the description below as well. So I'm here with Garrett Toll from Delane and Gibson, and we're here to talk about insurance uh, for when you're buying a house. So Garrett, what drives the cost of insurance premiums if I'm buying a new home? Absolutely, Jeff. Thanks for having me. When you're thinking about premiums, location, location, location. Just okay. like buying real estate, uh, you're along the water, it's going to be more expensive. I feel that pain. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, right? So that's a big factor, your location. But then moving into it, you can assume some risk, maybe take different deductible options. When you're thinking about that, whether it be an all peril deductible, a wind deductible. So hold on, sorry, time out. Oh. What's a deductible? Yes, so the deductible is gonna be the client, you, the, your skin in the game. Uh, what you're gonna be responsible for at the time of loss. So think about your home suffers a lightning, you get struck by lightning, the loss is $200,000. You have a thousand dollar deductible. The company's going to write you a check for one hundred ninety nine thousand. That's a big loss. But okay, so big that's loss. deductible. So I'm assuming the higher the deductible, the less the premium. Right? Correct. Okay. Yes. The more you risk, you assume the lower the premium you can get. What's a, out of curiosity? What's a normal deductible for somebody who's you know is there an average or standard deductible for a single family home versus a condo? Yeah, you know today um, usually a great starting point is uh, anywhere between a thousand to twenty five hundred depending on the risk and as you go up in size. You definitely want a bigger, uh, but 2,500 is what we see the most of. Okay, so let's talk about this amount of coverage, right? Because I'm assuming they look at the cost of your building and then to rebuild or to, I mean, they, they, they assume worst case scenario. They right? assume, we're assuming worst case scenario that heck, what if the house burns to the ground? Right. We need to rebuild you. Uh, what's that going to cost in the total value of the home? You'll often be surprised that it um, is, can be higher than you think the home is worth. Right. It's a lot of times a lot higher than the house is worth. Yeah, no, I've, Absolutely. I've always noticed that. So, um, all right. So if you're buying a single family house, right, what are some of the things that I as a home buyer should be considering if I'm buying that single family home? Absolutely. So are you in the suburbs? Are you in the metro city area? Now, hold on. Is the suburbs more expensive than the metro? Uh, it depends. Okay. Again, like it really, it can depend. But if you're, say, in a really remote area, it can be more expensive because it comes into a protection issue. Fire trucks can't get there. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. Um, whereas if the fire trucks are zipping around the city, they're going to be there hopefully pretty quick. Right. So what I, I, I have, uh, I live on the coast. Right, and um, I was lucky enough to have a neighbor's tree fall on our shed. That was claim number one last year. Okay. And then the wind ripped off the roof. That was claim number two last year. So I know a little bit about wind insurance, unfortunately. Can you, you know, if I own a single family home, what are some of those other things that I might want to think about? Sure, so when you're looking at that, you're gonna have an all peril deductible, and then a policy may have a wind deductible. You may also have a named storm hurricane deductible. These are things that you can be counseled through to understand what your exposure is at the time of loss. Because as you know, it blows a lot here in New England, uh, especially in the winter. Yep. And Jeff, unfortunately, has seen that happen and your neighbor's tree falls on you, well, it was mine, my problem. It's your problem. I even had to remove the tree from his property, which never mind. Um, so if you're buying a condo, can you explain the difference between the master insurance policy and then this walls in policy? Sure. So the master insurance, you're standing outside looking at the beautiful building that your condo's in. Think about that building being rebuilt from the outside. You'd walk inside and all you would see is studs. If you didn't have the walls in if policy. If you didn't have the walls in policy. So then you would purchase your walls in policy and your drywall, your electrical, your kitchen, your cabinets, your- uh, Furniture? Furniture. No, your furniture is gonna be covered under that policy, but for your contents. Okay. Um, but yes, yeah, sorry, that would uh, include that policy as well. And your deductibles there play an important factor too. You always wanna know what your master policy deductible is because you want to make sure your walls in policy will provide coverage for that in the event of a loss. And, and back to that, I mean, you know, we had a loss. We actually had a fire in our chimney, right? And it was, I think, $3,500 in order to fix the issue. And then our deductible is $2,500. So there are probably times where it doesn't necessarily make sense to go through insurance, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. You, you, you know, you buy it to have it. You really want it there for that catastrophic loss yeah. in certainly other losses. But that's why it's great, too, to work with an agent. So you can talk about these things and say, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't put the claim in because it's only going to drive your rate up. And at the end of the day, eh. I will say that insurance 
insurance was absolutely useless for all the years I've owned house insurance until last year. Right, insurance is useless until the day you need it. Right, and that's sure. Why, that's why we obviously have it. So, um, bundling. I, I've heard a lot about bundling. I've seen all the commercials. Right. So when you're buying a house, I've always said this is a really great time to look at your whole entire insurance needs. Not just the house. Right. You want to look at your cars, your jewelry, your whatever else you have. Why? Why? Yes. Why is that? Why does it make sense? So important. Your assets are growing. Uh, your exposures are changing and you want to make sure you're holistically covered and carriers love that at the same time looking at a multi-line account is uh, to them they use the term it's sticky you're going to be a good customer they're going to give you discounts and who doesn't like a good discount can so, i save more than 20 percent in 15 minutes uh yeah maybe even more okay so, uh, so yeah we, <laughs> savings is great and having those multiple lines of coverage is key okay so uh speaking of saving 20 percent in 15 minutes uh there's there's a certain company out there that says that. What's the difference between working a big national company like that versus a smaller actual broker like Deland and Gibson? Can you, can you, what yeah, are sure. So that's one of those carriers out there that you see advertising are typically what we call a direct writer, uh, meaning you can access them over the telephone or the internet and you work with them, you get their product, their price. Um, you come to an independent agency, you're going to get um, an account review, what we do. Uh, we're gonna work through your uh, exposures and we have many markets. So we have the ability to be working with carriers, we consider them partners. Uh, and with the partnership, we're able to place your risk uh, knowing that at the time of loss, you're going to be taken care of. Right, and so I, I think that's important to say because I have a lot of insurance needs, right? From the house to the boat to the cars to the business, right? And you know, the Hartford's with one, uh, AIG is another, Chubb is with um, with with the boat, right? So you know, by going to you, it's kind of a one stop shop. And um, I will also say, I remember that when I got in a car accident. Um, you know, I knew my rates were going to go up and what was great in working with you guys unprovoked without asking, you know, I got an email saying, Hey, your insurance did go up. Um, there here are two other options that are a little less expensive and this deductible is that and kind of a walkthrough and explaining the differences sure. to me. And I personally decided to stay with AIG, even though it was a couple more bucks because they did a really good job. Yep. Um, so, you know, I, I will personally say, by the way, I, uh, as a full disclosure, I do use the land in Gibson um, for all of our insurance need from the house to the business. Um, and that's why I recommend the small guys is because they give you a full breadth of all the different avenues and all the different costs. And hey, yes, this insurance might be a little bit more expensive. Um, as a great example, AIG or Chubb Insurance, which there's no relationship. <laughs> Um, I wish there was. Um, they're they're known for just stroking a check, right? Like, okay, sure. there's a loss. Hey, here you go. But you pay higher premium for it, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And I, I think that's what's great working with one of you guys is that, um, specifically with you, is that you take the time to explain, okay, yeah, we can go with this insurance route. They don't have the best reputation in that. You know, a little bit more expensive, you know, these guys are going to be a little bit easier. For sure. With. So, um Garrett, how can uh, the people, how can everybody find you? Yeah, um, well, phone number, email. Jeff is great. Uh, phone, email, text, what is uh, your website. Phone? What is your phone number? 617-306-6000. Uh, gtoll at delangibson.com. Don't worry, we'll spell that out in the post. So in the description <laughs> below, I will have all of his contact information. As always, should you have any questions, well, I should say about insurance, reach out to him because I probably don't know that much when it comes to the insurance game. But if you have questions about, you know, real estate, buying a house, House, selling a house, or if you're in the process and you just have questions and need to talk to somebody uh, with you know with, with that doesn't have a dog in the fight, if you will, I'm here for you. And uh, some of the videos that you see on the screen right now might be really helpful to watch uh, as you learn more about the home buying process. Thanks for watching.